Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will take some more examples of the SLR1 parsing technique. Uh, let's say that we have a grammar of kind S produces under bracket S and S produces A. For the augmented grammar, we are taking a production S produces S. Okay. Now we have to compute the closer. So we are taking a dot uh, before the start symbol that is capital S. And then after this, all the productions, those will be starting with the capital S, will be taking them also. So S produces this and S produces dot A. So this is the zero state. Now if you see at S from here, so S produces S dot. Uh, now see, uh, after every start symbol, uh, whenever we will be doing the bottom of parsing, <clears throat> after every string there will be a dollar. So if we have converted the entire string to the to the start symbol, there will be a dollar appearing after that. So we are taking a dollar also after this. This is just an assumption that we are taking. It will be helping us to draw the parsing table. Fine. So S dot dollar. And then, if you are taking an opening parenthesis from the zero state, we will be going to s produces opening parenthesis dot s and since after the dot there is a uh, non-terminal symbol or a variable so we will be writing all the production is starting with capital s with a dot in the beginning fine so this is the new state and now if you see this small a from here We'll go to S produces A dot. This is a new state. Let's number all these states. 1, 2, and 3. If you take a dollar from here in the advanced state, you will be going to S dash produces S dollar dot. So let's say this uh, number is 4. And then if you take a capital S from here, you go to the state S produces this state. Okay. Let's say this is the number 5. And if you take an opening parenthesis from this state, what items will be produced? You see? So those items will be after uh, after the opening parenthesis dot will shift. And then this will be this item. And then after uh, dot, the, there is a capital S or the non-terminal symbol. So we will be writing all the production starting from capital S with a dot in the beginning. So this will be this state only. So if you are taking an opening parenthesis, we are actually remaining with this state only. Okay. And if you take A from here, you will shift to this state. Fine. Uh, Now after uh, this, uh, in this state 5, if we take a closing parenthesis, we will be moving to a new state where dot is in the last. So this is the new state. Let's say this uh, new state has a number 6. Okay. So from 5 we have 6 seen all the symbols and uh, this uh, table is over. Uh, so this uh, canonical collection of LR0 items is over. Now if you make a parsing table for this, then the parsing table would look like we have the state 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and then we have the actions here. Actions will be uh, corresponding to opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis, A and dollar. These are the terminal symbols. And then uh, in the go to section, there is only one symbol that is non terminal that is S. Let's make the entries in this table. So from 0 with capital S, you are going to one state. On 0 with capital S, you are going to one state. On 0, on opening parenthesis, you are going to 2. On 0 with opening parenthesis, you are going to 2. Since this is a terminal symbol, so that you will be writing shift 2 on 0 
with capital A, uh, sorry, small a, you're going to state number 3. So we'll be writing S3 here. On 1 with dollar, you're reaching to the state which is having a final item with respect to the start symbol. So that's why we'll on 1 with dollar, you'll be writing except. Okay. Now on 2 with capital S, you're going to 5. On 2 with capital S, you're going to 5. On to with opening parenthesis, you are remaining with this state only. On to with opening parenthesis, S2. On to with a small a, you are going to 3. On to with a small a, you are going to 3. Fine. So from 3, there is no uh, transition. From 4, there is no transition. But from 5, there is there the transitions. So S produces. Okay. Okay. So with, with the closing parenthesis in 5, with the closing parenthesis, you are going to six okay and then after uh, making all the entries uh, which are having the shift states and then we will be making the entries corresponding to the reduction side reduction items let us number these two production as one and two and then uh, wherever they are the final items one is status 6 in which there is a final item. One is status 3 where is the, there is a final item. So if we have uh, the, uh, if we have to comp comp compute the LR0 items and we have to make the LR0 parsing table, in that case we will be writing the uh, reductions in every non-terminal entries. So let's, let's first make the LR0 items, then we will be converting that to the LR1, SLR1. So in 3, in 3, uh, S produces A that will be R2 because this is the second production so in 3 we will be writing R2 at every entry okay and in 6 this is the first production so we will be writing R1 in the 6th state okay in the 6th state we will be writing the uh, in 6th state we will be writing the R1 R1 and R1 here okay so this is the LR0 parsing table and in case we have to make the LR1 parsing table the shift items will remain same but the only changes will be there with the uh, reduction items okay so for that we will have to compute the follow of S so you may see that uh, the follow of S is only closing braces Okay, follow of S is having the closing braces. Obviously, the follow of S will be dollar because S is the start symbol, so a dollar will always be there. And uh, S appears on the right hand side there after S, there is a closing parenthesis, so a closing parenthesis will also be there in the follow of S. So, in both this production, the left hand side symbol is capital S, so you will not be writing the reduction items blindly but we'll be uh, putting the reduction items at the follow places so closing and dollar are the only two ones so you will remove this one and this one similarly you will remove this one and this one only these two items will remain